Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 70 of Voice Lessons to the World and part one of our How to Belt Trilogy. Yeah. So, uh, yes, that's right. We're going to take three whole episodes to talk about how to belt because I know you guys really want to know about some of these contemporary vocal techniques that are out there. So, uh, we're going to take our question first, which is from Ernest C. in Singapore City, Singapore. And Ernest writes, Dear Justin, what is belting? And Ernest, I got to thank you, my friend, because that's a perfect question to kick off our How to Belt trilogy. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, what is belting? That's the first thing we need to ask ourselves. And I know that belting is one of those principles that you're going to hear a lot of different things, different methods, different singing teachers, different people say different things. That's okay. We're going to create a definition uh, that helps you guys see that belting is a very nuanced technique. There's lots involved in belting. It's not just one thing. But what we're going to say today is that belting is the drag of a stronger register of the voice or a stronger gear up into a lighter register or a lighter gear, right? So let me show you in my speaking voice. If I just take my voice, ah, it wants to go to falsetto. My chest voice, ah, wants to break into my falsetto register. But what if I don't do it? What if I just drag right past where it wanted to switch? And I do, ah, uh, then I'm really dragging chest voice past that point where it wanted to switch. And it's kind of like a yell, ah, uh, it's a shout or a belt. Okay, so now that's just one example. That's dragging my chest voice up. I can also drag a mix up a chest dominant mix, a mix, a head mix. Maybe I could drag my falsetto upwards or create a reinforced uh, falsetto kind of sound. There are lots of different varieties of belting. Not only that, but there's also a lot of different acoustical things that we can do to make the voice sound beltier. Now we're gonna look at all these things together, but that's what I want you guys to really know though about belting, is that it's a drag of a stronger gear up past the point where it wants to switch. That's common to basically all belting, and then we'll throw the bells and whistles on there later. But today what we're gonna look at is that drag of pure chest voice, right? Now this is the one that gets a bad rap because this is the one that is actually kind of like a yell. It's really that shout, but not everybody can just do this voice. It's, it's very common actually for people to have uh, slightly weaker chest voices and not actually be able to just yell it out. We make that assumption that anybody can just yell it out there. Well, actually, no, they can't. It's tough for some singers. But that's our first step today, is learning about dragging chest voice. So what we're gonna do is I'm first gonna show you uh, in a song example, then I'm gonna give you some more tips, and then we're gonna try it together in an exercise. But the song that we're gonna look at today is Use Somebody by Kings of Leon. So in this song, it's really gonna be a true drag of chest voice almost a shout. It's not going to be a protected kind of sound. It's not even going to be a mix. Nope, just that drag of pure chest voice past where it wants to go, which is a really common sound in contemporary singing. So here we go with Use Somebody by Kings of Leon. It's that drag of chest voice. It's a lot of uh, a shout in the sound. 
And again, that's a very common sound that you hear uh, in contemporary singing. So you can tell it's not a protected thing. Whoa, it's nothing like that. Nope, whoa, straight out, full belting. Really important sound to know. So next what we're gonna do is look at uh, some tips and then an exercise that can help you guys develop that drag of pure chest in your voice. So here's a few tips when you're working on getting this kind of pulled up chest drag for your belting. First of all, is this a healthy belt like we've talked about in the past? A healthy one? Well, yes, it can be, but also we have to know this is a pretty athletic coordination. This can be the way that some people hurt their voices by just yelling it out there all the time. If you do this in moderation, and if you do this sensitively, it won't be harmful for your voice. So how do we do that? Well, you need to listen to yourself. Does this hurt? It should not hurt. Are you getting hoarse when you're doing it? You should not be getting hoarse. It's a little bit athletic, so it might be slightly vocally fatiguing, but it shouldn't be something that's causing you pain or making you hoarse. Those are big warning signs, so listen to your body, and if you do this in moderation, you will find that this is a nice addition to your overall singing. Next, uh, this one is gonna go out the mouth, right? We talk a lot about incorporating nasal resonance and head resonance into the sound. Those are things that help with the mix. This is not the time for that. This is whoa, right? Not whoa. We're not putting the air in. In this kind of belting, we're letting the air out. Remember too, this is chest voice. So you need to speak boldly into this sound. You need to use your speaking voice. This kind of sound is not pretty singing. So if you try to make this kind of belting pretty, you're gonna have a lot of trouble with it. Not all kinds of singing are beautiful sounds. Some can be a little bit more edgy. So when you're going for this belt, don't try to be too pretty with it. Finally, this does still require uh, good breath support. If you use a constant airflow and don't get too much louder on the high notes, they're going to be loud, but don't get louder, don't force air at it, then it's gonna be way healthier and way more sustainable, even though chest dragging is an athletic coordination. So those are, are some things to keep in mind, and now we're gonna try an exercise. So this exercise is gonna help you guys to drag that chest voice, that pure belt up. And so what we're gonna do is a WH Whoa, Kings of Leon, Whoa exercise, we're going to use use somebody in order to help us to build our belts higher. Now I'm going to have guys and girls on the same notes, but at a certain moment I'm going to have guys drop out and ladies will continue. And this is because guys and girls' voices do work a little differently and there's only a certain point where I want you guys and girls dragging chest voice. Later I promise we're going higher in other episodes, but today it's full chest voice. It doesn't need to go that high. So here we go with a Kings of Leon whoa. It's gonna be this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So nice. Let's have you cut out. Ladies, continue on up. again.
wonderful, I say, whoa, that was awesome. So I hope that helped you guys to drag chest voice and that chest dominant belt up a little bit higher and really work that coordination in your voice. Now, like I say, there's so many other belt coordinations that do go higher and involve different aspects of the voice. And that's why this is just part one of our How to Belt trilogy. Uh, right. So, I hope that's been helpful for you guys today as singers. If you've got questions that you'd like to see us answer on the show, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. So I just encourage you, don't lose that joy. Don't lose that passion. Don't let people tell you you can't sing. You and I both know that is just not true. Get with a great voice teacher in your area, or if you guys are in the New York City area where you'd like to Skype with one of our staff, you can visit us at www.newyorkvocalcoaching.com. And I just encourage you guys to download our free app. It's for iPad, iPhone, hopefully more in the future. A lot of great resources, tips, articles, videos, lots of things there to help you guys get to the next level on your singing journey. So just keep working hard, work at that belt, be safe with it, be sensitive with it. I know you guys are going to really incorporate that into your voice. I'm Justin Stoney. We'll see you next time.